So let me just ask you this question. Are you on threats? If you don't know what threats it, or just in case you have no idea of what threats it, then let me just say this. Threats is a new social media platform which was built by Meta, which is the parent company for Instagram, WhatsApp, and Facebook. And this has been the new way for some time now. And there's been so many videos surrounding threats and all of that. But since we are coming from a design point of view, we are going to be creating a beautiful design for threats. And what you see on my screen is what we are going to be creating today so don't go anywhere we will be designing this after the intro Hey everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on this channel, look, I think you should subscribe because we just hit 20k subscribers and I'm so excited to share this excitement with you. So I want you to be a part of this channel. Let's go together and let's achieve bigger things together. If you're an OG, massive respect for the continuous support and participation on this channel. I truly appreciate your continuous support. So yes, I think we are done with what I have to say. So let's dive into Canva and let's get started. So you can see what we are going to create i actually created two samples of this you know so we have the text based one and we also have the image you know one which we also which i showed you um earlier so this is what we have over here and the thing is it's actually very simple to create this let me walk you through how i actually created it myself okay so let's get started the first thing i'll just do is to click on this page but you should be using the dimension 1080 by 1350 okay yeah and um after you do that make sure you're coming into element and search for squiggle what squiggle okay so s q u i g g l e and you should see so many samples over here but make sure you're clicking on see all and the graphics and um we'll just go through this is the one i use but just in case you don't like this because one thing i realized is dress gets to come with so many designs you know with a squiggle so many designs and samples so you can go with any sample of your choice but what you see on my screen is what we are going to be working with okay so make sure you're coming into the color come into the white part of it and come into the white part of it okay and choose black for it because we want it all black and we'll just increase the size of this okay so you can increase it to any style at all you want so something like this and you can duplicate it and maybe choose another one like this okay so we do also would want to avoid the cutout part of our squiggles so i would increase the size more fantastic so this is what we have and you can see if you are to look closely it's a black and a gray so we are going to choose the first color and choose a black for it okay we want it all black so this is what we have to do and the next thing we are going to do is to add our text you know um, with the threads around it so that's what we are going to be doing make sure you are coming back into your design press t on your keyboard to add the text and i'm going to be using the canva sounds okay so all you need to do is to type threads or caps okay and select all and choose the color white okay so this is what we have at the moment now duplicate the text and i'll bring this one over here because one text over here one text over there then we'll just come into effect and effect make sure you're scrolling down and looking for the curve okay so you can see after we choose the curve this is how it's looking but we don't want it like that because of how our squiggle is um, looking so we rather come into the negatives okay so something like this and position it here at the moment what you need to do is once you use the curve you also need to be rotating your text to make sure it's fitting it may not be perfect but just try to make sure it's looking convincing okay yeah <laughs> anyway so select it and come back into okay so here we are i would come into the negatives okay then i would just bring it down and make sure we are getting something beautiful okay so something like this is so nice and what i'll do is i will duplicate it and bring it in here okay then i'll come back into my effect in effect since you know it's not looking how we want we we'll just rather reduce it like this and bring it here so we can see it more then we would also rotate it okay so it is something like this which i think is cool so come over here also using the same formula choose your curves okay and you just you know just play around with the curves so that you get something very nice all right all right so you see what we have at the moment i'll duplicate it or click away and duplicate it position it here and i'll rotate it to something like this all right so you can see what we have at the moment so we've been able to tackle the background of our design so the next thing we are going to do is add the posts okay so we are going to be doing some few things in here let's go back okay so what you have to do is make sure you're clicking away and press r on your keyboard okay for a square 
and once you add the square this is what i need you to do make sure you're pressing your alt and shift together while you click on any corner of your shape to increase the size okay so what i mean is i'm pressing my alt and my shift and i'll click the corner and increase the size okay so that it increases evenly is my english correct stop it get some help anyway okay so make sure it's on top of everything come into the color and choose white so this is the challenge now once you change the color to white it now looks like white on white and we do not want that okay so we have to create something to differentiate the two so that when we see it we'll be like okay this is the post and that's the background so there'll be there needs to be something to to differentiate everything okay so this means that we would first of all come into boiler style and increase and increase the corner rounding to maybe 10 which is fine okay then come into your element and search for square okay so s q u l e so search for square and this is not what we want so come into photos because we need a photo to do this because at the moment you cannot apply shadows to any shape you can rather apply shadows to photos in canva so we just have to look for a shape okay so choose any of these shapes over here and make sure you're reducing the size okay and if you want to reduce the size like i'm doing make sure you're pressing and holding alt while you do that then come to your edit photo and edit photo go into shadows and choose glow okay so this is what we are going to do increase the size of it okay and the blur amount you also want to increase it the intensity you don't reduce it a little bit because we don't want it too much then increase it more like this you see something like this then click away select it again and send it behind the shape so you can see it's applying some sort of um, light shadow around our ship okay which is very simple and very beautiful so now we just have to add our content the first thing you need to do is to come in element again clicking on element and scroll down you should see the frame okay so i'll increase my size so i will zoom in okay and select the frame and we'll reduce the size of it okay so once you reduce the size it shouldn't be too big okay position it somewhere here and increase the size maybe a little bit more then what you need to do is to come back into elements and search for threads okay so you should see the thread logo okay and it's always over here okay nice one and what you would also need to do is to add our username so i'll press t on my keyboard okay and i'll put any social media handles i can just say the african geek it should be lower caps oh okay so make sure you're clicking on this make sure this is not selected okay so oh my goodness the african geek okay then we can reduce the size and stretch out like that okay then reduce the size even more and make sure you are coming okay positioning it somewhere here now make it bold because it's always bold like that okay so reduce the size more and maybe i'll reduce the size of this also maybe more okay so something like this is what we would want to create and i will just maybe increase the size a little bit come you know bring this over here reduce the size more all right then come into photos okay if you have a photo you want to use you can use that but i will just use any photo at all so i'll just search for Af african guy okay so i'll just search for african guy and we should find a lot of people over here i'll just choose this guy and position him here double click i want his face okay so something like that and click on done so now that we've done this we are going to continue with the bottle <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah so what trace usually does is there's always a line sort of okay so we'll come and add a line and we'll change it to 90 degrees okay so i'll position the line here because that's what i always see then we'll reduce it a little bit the line is usually gray so we'll choose a lighter gray for the line and we have something like this then we can just add our text so i will just maybe come here copy and paste it over here so i would just add my text fantastic so i have added my content i would want to center it over here such beautiful 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 content okay so after we do that with the like and the engagement buttons meta actually has a very interesting way of um you know showcasing this so we are just going to do that so come back into your element again scroll down okay so we close this up and scroll down in fact we have it over here so you reduce the size like you have over here 
bring it down okay and reduce the size more okay so usually there's a bigger one okay so a little bit bigger bring it down a little bit duplicate it okay and this is like a little bit smaller and it's like a triangle okay so and you duplicate it again and this should be smaller okay and this is what we have at the moment then i'll duplicate my text and i would just say i think the likes comes before the replies so maybe 1458 likes okay 93,938 93,938 Then there's a dot, but I really don't know how to get the dot on my uh, keyboard. So I'll just give a space and I'll just say 125 replies. Okay, then I'll select all and the color is usually gray as well. So I will select it and reduce the size and position it here. Okay, so this is how it should look like then we're just fixing some stuff in here okay some images so i will just come here uh where is my photos photos in photos we'll just add you know images of people okay so i'll add this i'll add this guy and i may add this gentleman also in here okay then what we'll just do for the last thing we'll just drop this down a little bit and we want to add engagement icon so i would just a link in the description box below okay just to get you know the engagement icons if you're on the free version of canva you can also get um there's a link in there to help you start using canva pro for free my templates free template to use and my workshop recordings also for free so get all of these things in the description box below don't do it now because we are almost done with the tutorial so once you're done just go down there click on every single link you find down there okay and you should enjoy it all because i really want you to get the most out of anything at all okay nice so i would what did i have to do okay engagement icon so i'll click on uploads and i have this over here so i can select it okay since it's white we can just leave it as white okay reduce the size and it's too big so reduce it more like that okay then we can come into edit photo and remove the background all righty all right so this has been removed the background has been removed nicely and one last thing you'd always see is um I think via threads, yeah, via threads. So you just select all and just say via threads, okay? I that's a select or no just duplicate and just put via threads in here and this is what we have created at the moment look i bet you that if you share this everyone would think it's coming directly from threads you know because from threads you can repost your threads content on instagram and usually it gets to look like this so feel free design this share it with your friends share this video with you know other canva you know friends you have and yes the name is benjamin don't forget to check out the links there's no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video. Yeah, I started on a 50 mil lens. Now I'm about to bag 50 mil yen. I can shoot all day, I got stamina. Turtleneck on with my camera, yeah. Stay creamy, man, that's what they say.